Welcome back everyone. So today's episode is a little bit special and the topic is a little bit special because I believe this method, if learned and executed correctly, can give you sustained gains for months and years to come in the stock market. I'm talking about cash covered puts and how can you make consistent money using cash covered puts or how can you buy your favorite stock at a discount on cash covered puts. There are two ways in stock market that you can make money. You can make money by trading stocks, buying and selling. You buy low, you sell high, you make money. That's fine. Then the other way of making money in stock market is through options and option trades are huge. People make tons of money in options, but they lose tons of money in option. So you have to be really careful of how you execute, what you pick, which stocks to pick, all those things matter. Okay, so stock we understand buy low, sell high, you make money. Options. There are two types of options. One is called puts, one is called calls. We are talking about puts here. I have a little infographic. I'm going to draw a little chart over here so you all can understand and see uh, that you know what these options are or how do you play them. And of course, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. Hit that like, share and subscribe. Help me grow the channel. Thank you so much. Okay, so now let me share the screen with you. So Actually, you don't need to see me, so I'm just gonna do the iPad screen here. Okay, so as we know that there are two ways of making money. One of the ways is that you make money doing stock trading. You buy, you sell, and you buy for 100, you sell for 120, the difference is $20, you made $20 on that stock, that's great. Okay, now let's talk about what we are here to talk about is option trading. And in particular, puts. Put is basically a contract that you buy or sell. You can do both, buy or sell from someone, not from the bank, but a, a, a seller or a buyer on the other end. And it's a contract made out of thin air. Basically what you're saying is that, you know what, I'm going to buy 100 shares of X, Y, and Z um, by selling that one contract. So one contract is basically 100 shares. Okay, that's one contract right here. All right, so one contract is 100 shares of any underlying security. So for hypothetically speaking, let's talk about Tesla, my favorite stock. Okay, so Tesla, um, one contract of Tesla will represent 100 shares of Tesla. Okay, so what is a put? A put is a bet that you place that a stock is going to go down. Okay, that's a bet you're placing if you are buying. See that asterisk here? I wanted to put that asterisk for a reason. So it's basically what you're saying is that, that if you buy a put, buy a put, okay? That's very important. You are betting that the Tesla stock price is going to go down because then only you will make money. Otherwise, you are not going to make money. You're going to lose money if the Tesla stock goes up, okay? Second, one of the good point about puts is that you win on market down on or market up. And I'll explain you in a second why. Also, you get a discount on your favorite stock. This is my best point here for making puts. Okay, so what can you do with puts? You can do two things. You can buy a put or you can sell a put. Okay, now I don't buy puts because I'm not interested in companies going down. I don't pay attention to those companies that are going to go down. I pay attention to companies that are going to go up. And you sell a put if you are thinking or if you want the company to go up. That's when you sell a put, okay? And I'll tell you the reason why. But let's look at buying. So if you are buying a put, there is no obligation, right? If you go to a store, you're not obligated to buy anything. It's your wish to buy or not, correct? Now on the seller side, if you enter a store and if you see something for sale, that seller is obligated to sell that product, correct? I mean, they have put on the shelf for a reason, same thing. If you are selling a put, you are basically obligated to honor that contract, okay? And I'll explain more, please don't worry about it. Okay, so, I'm not gonna talk about this right now, so let's forget buying a put. Let's focus on selling a put because that's what this video is about, how to make money um, by, doing, by using cash covered puts. Okay, so when we say cash covered puts, we talk about selling a put. So it is, the, 
best strategy, in my opinion, for generating weekly or monthly or daily income, in my opinion, depending on the stock. Okay, you need some cash because they are cash covered. So cash covered means cash covered. It means that you need to have some cash in your bank to cover the stock. That's the important thing to remember. Okay. And of course, you can exit any time. You don't have to exit, you know, um, on the expiration of the contract because all these contracts have an expiration date. Okay. You can exit at any time. All right. Now, let's put it in an example. All right. So, you know, now if you are selling a contract, you are basically making sure that you have some cash to sell a contract because it's cash covered right here. And you can exit at any time and you are hoping that the stock price is going to go up. Okay, these things need to be kept in mind. So now let's draw an example here. So, but you know, before that, let's let's make one thing very clear here. Okay, so we are talking about Tesla, right? And we are talking about price going up of Tesla. Okay, so on the upward move, these two things are pre-established. Okay, now let's say that all of these contracts represents 100 shares. So one contract equals 100 shares. Okay, there's another point to remember. All right. And the other thing to remember is that they all have an expiration. Okay, so they're not unlimited. They all will have an expiration. All right. Okay, so now let's talk about a real life example. I'm going to say that, you know what, I'm going to sell a cash covered put. That means my bet that if Tesla stock hits a certain price, a strike price, we call it, I'm obligated to buy those shares. So by selling a put, a put equals obligated to buy. Okay. There you go. So now what I'm saying is I sold one Tesla put strike price $700. Okay, that's what I sold. So and for this bet right here, um, expiration April 23rd, tomorrow's. Okay. All right. For this bet, I will get paid, let's say $1.50, okay, for one contract, okay? Now, you know one contract is 100 shares, so you need to multiply that by 100, that will be $150, okay? So by selling this, I will get $150 in my account right away, no questions asked, okay? That's done, but now, we have an obligation that if Tesla stock reaches 700 or below, so 700 or below, then I need to have or I need to buy 100 shares. That will be equal to $70,000. So I need to have $70,000 in my account in order to execute this trade because it's 100 shares. Okay, it's, gonna, it's probably looking too much right now on the screen, but don't worry it will get a lot simpler in one second and I'm actually gonna show you this, okay? So coming here now, this is a new square, so let's focus here now, okay? Now, tomorrow rolls around and I was paid $150 for that contract, right? So that $150, I have it in my bank account and I'm all set, no, no questions asked, great. Now on April 23rd, at 4 p.m., Tesla closed at, let's say, 7.25, okay? Now, my bet was that I'm willing to buy Tesla at 700, so, but the price is 7.25, so what will happen? This contract that I did over here, right here, is expire, will expire, because the expiration was April 23rd. So this is going to now expire and I get to keep the $150 in my bank account. I, this is my profit. I'm not going to give it back. Nobody can take it from me. It's mine. So now I don't have any stock. 
I saved my $70,000 in my bank account and I get to keep $150,000. Okay. Now, let's say, look at a scenario that on April 23rd at 4 p.m., the stock price closed at 700 or anything less than that. Okay. If it happens, then basically bank or the or, or, or the buyer of my contract, because I'm the seller, is going to say, all right, dude, come on, give me $70,000 and here's your 100 Tesla shares. Okay, what am I going to do? I'll be like, okay, yeah, I bet, I, I put a bet, so I'm obligated. Okay, here you go, $70,000, 100 shares, done. What is my cost for those Tesla shares? Is it 700 some people say, yeah, because you're buying at 700, right? This is the cost. This is what you paid. Not really, because I got $150 in advance uh, for that, because I got this money in the bank as well. So my cost for Tesla stock would be 698.50 for each Tesla stock, because I got $1.50 that I got paid right here in advance. So got $150 in advance. So my cost for my stock would be $698.50. Now, I will only do this for stock like Tesla because I know Tesla is going to go up. So owning Tesla at $700 today might be costly because the stock price could go to $680. But owning Tesla a year from now at $700 would be a steal because a year from now, Tesla stock price could reach $900 or $1,000. So I'm okay play, playing this trade because it's a short-term loss for me, maybe because the Tesla may go to 600 next week. But long-term, I buy Tesla for long-term. It's a win-win for me, okay? And I have done this consistently over the years because I feel this is the best way of owning your favorite shares. And I gave a Tesla example because Tesla is so volatile and I'm okay buying Tesla at this point where it is right now because I feel Tesla has a huge potential going forward, okay? So now let me show you the real world example where I'm going to log into my account and I'm going to execute a trade on Tesla to see what kind of uh, price I get. Now, I usually do it in the morning because by afternoon time decay in options is huge. So if I'm doing it Thursday for the next day expiration, I won't get much return. If I would have gotten, uh, if I would have done it in the morning, I would have gotten a, a lot higher return because I have two full days because I do expiration for the next day. I can do expiration for next Friday, but I don't do that because there's so much that can happen over the weekend, over the next few weekdays, next week. So I don't play that way. So let me log into my laptop. Let me um, share the screen with you guys and I'm going to log into my E-Trade account. That's what I use to do options on Tesla. And uh, so you can see, both of us can see together on how I execute this trade and what cash covered puts are. Okay. All right. So here we are. Uh, this is the E-Trade and uh, I'm going to basically go ahead and trade the option right now. So what I do is I'm going to select sell because I'm selling a put and I'm going to do put and uh, what I'm going to do here now is that I'm, tomorrow is the expiration. Right now is at 729. So I'm going to go down to say 700. And I'm going to um, select this expiration for tomorrow at, see, I'm selling one put for 700 for tomorrow. All right, let's go down to even further. Let's see what 680 is paying us. 680 is paying us $104 or $1.04. So if the stock goes to 680 tomorrow, I'll be obligated to buy 100 shares of Tesla at 680. I'm okay with that, okay? So what I'm going to do now is, but you need to have $68,000 in your bank account in order for them, for the bank to basically accept this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put over here a little bit higher, say $1.25 over here as my asking. So I'll get $125 and I will just now preview this and I will go ahead and I'm going to send. That's it. So now if I go under orders, you will see as one order over here, right here that I have, um, uh, which is, I just placed an order here, sell one April 23rd, 680 put at $1.25 limit to open. 
this is what you see. Don't worry about the rest of the orders. I have some buy orders, some sell orders in place. So this is what I uh, do on a regular basis. This is what I do on a weekly basis to make consistent money because what's going to happen if Tesla reaches 680 tomorrow um, by 4 p.m. I will have 100 more shares of Tesla. As I mentioned in my previous videos, I'm a big Tesla bull. I have about 4,000 shares. I will increase my Tesla holding to almost uh, six to eight thousand shares I plan to increase in the next few years um, but as of right now if let's say the the the, the stock doesn't touch 680 by tomorrow um, then I'm going I get to keep the hundred and twenty five dollars or hundred twenty four fifty because fifty cents the bank takes a commission so uh, the bank will um, or I will uh, get to keep the hundred and twenty four dollars for basically playing this bet so this is what you do as cash covered puts but actually while we are at this topic let me show you what time decay means so let's say that if i were to sell the same put for next friday not for this friday but for next friday let's see so let's say that i am going to do the same thing i'm going to add an option here and i'm going to be uh, selling on the date i will select the next date which is april 30th and i'm going to select the same 680 as a strike and I'm going to sell the put. Look at this. So right now, if I were to sell a 680 put for next week, I will be getting 14.95 as my uh, price for that. So $1,495, or if I can just go 15 here, all right, so $1,500 I will get for selling the 680 put for next Friday. I get to keep. Now, what will happen in the entire next week? I don't know. I don't like to play, even though it's big money, as of I get to make more money this way, I don't pay for week, week like that. If I'm paying long, I pay really long. That means months ahead. And that's when we get like really high pay. Let me share that with you as well while we are in this here. So this is my account. And uh, I'm gonna share the Tesla shares that I have here. Okay, guys, so take a look here. So what I did is I sold a 10 puts of Tesla 550 put for December 21st okay this December so what I did was I bet it that Tesla stock is going to be 550 by December and if it's at 550 I'm willing to buy thousand shares of Tesla at that price in December okay will I absolutely I will buy and what bank did they Put aside $550,000 on the side as, okay, you are betting. This is a side. You can use this money. Fine. Now, I got paid $78.57 for that bet. Okay? 1,000 shares. So, I basically got paid $78,000 to bet that today for December. Since then, the price has gone down. See, when you're selling something, right? So, you sold high. I sold high. And now the price has gone down and it came down to $67 as of today. That means if I were to close this position, I can go and buy all of it back at $67 and my profit would be about 13 or uh, right here, $11,299. That would be my profit that I made in the last two weeks by doing this. I'm not doing it right now. I'm going to sell it right before the earnings, the 26 that we are getting, because I feel that we are going to see the stock price go up next week before the earnings always happens. Then I'll get out of all this because then I will make, you know, just yesterday when the stock was up, I was making 15 grand on this, um, uh, on this one. And then also I have some calls, which I'm going to cover in a different video. So this is my strategy on how I make consistent money in stock market using this strategy. Now, um, these $100, $200 here and there is, is, is I try to play uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, like today for tomorrow. But if I'm talking about having some big money or, or, or making some few thousand dollars, then I go further out because more time and that's how I plan my trades. So this is my way of, of making consistent money. Again, I said it doesn't matter if the stock market is going down or going up. There is always a way for you to play options safely. These are very dangerous and you need to understand what you're doing uh, before you can go ahead and do that. So I really hope I was able to provide some value to you. Go ahead and hit that like, share and subscribe button if you get anything out of the video and there is a Webull uh, link in the description. Go ahead and take advantage of four free stocks. You get four. I get to and that's how we keep growing thank you so much for joining me until next time you all have a wonderful day